When I spoke at the United Nations, I said, uh, yoga is not an Indian thing. Some people who believe they are more Indian than me, I think, I look very Indian, do I? <laughs> I'm dressed Indian and I look Indian and I'm Indian, all right. <laughs> but they think they are more Indian than me. So they are very offended, I said, yoga is not an Indian thing. And I said, yoga is a gift from India to the world, but it cannot belong to India. If yoga is Indian, then somebody will claim gravity is European. <laughs> then what do you do? Will you float? <laughs> a particular science, might have been discovered and explored in a certain culture. That doesn't make a science into a culture. For all these people who are tweeting a lot <laughs> about yoga, I hope they will get up in the morning and do their yoga <laughs> because if you would really want to make yoga Indian, the one billion Indians must get up in the morning and do yoga. <laughs> then it'll become Indian. <laughs> Anybody walks into India and they see the entire country is doing yoga, people will say, wow, this is an Indian thing, Indian phenomena. Then they will… they may also pick it up, it may become an international phenomena. <laughs> No, they are not doing yoga, they are just tweeting about yoga <laughs> Our honorable prime minister is lying down on the street and doing yoga with children, with common people, with the police, with the army. He is doing yoga lying down on the street. Which world leader is doing, doing anything like that in the interest of the well-being of the citizens of the nation? But they are not inspired to do yoga, they are sitting and tweeting against me, <laughs> heaping abuse on me. <laughs> I am working seven days of the week, thousands of our volunteers are working seven days of the week to make sure every person in India does yoga. Around the world we are doing, but in India it's much more concentrated, the work. Town to town, village to village, our volunteers are traveling tirelessly trying to bring yoga to every human being. Many things are not settled in the lives of people in that part of the world, but at least they must know some inner well-being. So we are working towards it. The very fact that United Nations declared International Yoga Day because they recognized it is beyond cultural boundaries, it is beyond national identities, it is beyond religious identities, it is a science for human well-being. Only because they identified that, they declared International Yoga Day. So all the tweeting birds, <laughs> I want you to understand, if you really want people to look up to India for this contribution that India has made to the world, what you should do is, you must make sure the one billion and odd Indian people are doing yoga every day. If we do this, then slowly it will generate a few, at least a handful of truly profound beings. Profoundness of experience and profoundness of knowing, when such beings come up, the entire world, world will look up to India for sure. Why will they not? If you don't do it soon enough, they may come up elsewhere and people will look up. Wherever there is profound experience, wherever there is profound knowing, people will look in that direction. Before it happens in America, you better do it in India <laughs> <laughs>